I'll show you the process of laying this lighting out. There are gonna be four speakers, a subwoofer, and then three inch can lights. So first thing, we're gonna pull the measurement of the entire room. So we're 166 inches, and then wide, we are 93 inches wide. So in this office in particular, there's gonna be a cloud ceiling installed with six inch gaps all the way around. So that's gonna reduce everything 12 inches. So we got 154 and 81. We'll go ahead and mark out that six inches. That's well above average. Six inches. Now what do I do, Bo? Call her a day. Call her a day. So because I'm putting a cloud up here, all we're doing is trying to figure out about where these speakers are gonna go. I can lay this framing out however I want. So that being said, I'm doing four inch speakers. So I know I said earlier, I'm gonna do three inch lights. I'm actually gonna do four inch lights so they match the speakers. When I lay out lights, what I'm typically wanting to do is make sure that the ends are well lit. And then with four inch lights, I never like to go more than about six feet in between the lights. I'm gonna go about a foot in on each end, and this could change. I'm writing in pencil, so I'm just kind of walking through it for myself here. And then here, I'm gonna come in about a foot. So I'm actually putting some hat channel around all these walls, which are gonna add two total inches. So I'm gonna bring this mark in another two inches, and then I'll make my one foot mark. So that'll be 11 feet, eight and a half here. Remember, I'm not worrying about this total distance. And then I'll be at 14 inches here with that two inches added. So now I've roughly got where my two outside lights are gonna go. Let's see what this total distance is in between. So I've got 126 and a half. Notice I wrote this total measurement down. I'm not really paying much attention to that. As I said, I like to just come in. Usually on bigger rooms, it's gonna be about 30 inches. They're 36 inches from each end. And then I try to center the lights from that middle measurement. So on this one, I'm gonna be 63 and a quarter, because that was 126 and a half. So I'm within that six feet that I like to be. So now what I wanna do is center those speakers on that so that it's all just gonna look like lights up there when things are off. So 63 and a quarter be 31 and 5 eighths. Why'd you make me doubt myself, Bo? So I'm putting SP there for speaker. That'll be a can light. That'll be a can light. 31 and 5 eighths. SP. And then this is a can light. So now I've got all of these evenly spaced out to double check 31 and 5 eighths, 31 and 5 eighths. See, that is the center. So that's how I laid out a room with lighting and speakers. Now I will lay out this side. I've got a lot of crap sitting in here, which happens in construction. So I'm only gonna have two rows, which, I need to come in with my eight inches and be my cloud plus two inches. <clears throat> so we're 77 and a quarter. Two foot seems like a long ways. Let's see where 18 puts us. So there's 18. There's 18. That's still, oof. I don't know if I like that. I mean, that's 40 inches apart, 41. It'd be 36 on each end. I kind of want to go 16. You don't want to divide it by three. What? So the reason you don't want to divide it by three is, <clears throat> and this is where a lot of people do do that. They divide it by three. Mm -hmm. So if you divide it by three, let's go, what was that? 25 and three quarter. Right. 25 and three quarter be right there so these are 25 and 3 quarter apart right mm -hmm. because they're divided by 3 look at this gap opposed to this gap so look at it kind of like <clears throat> that light is split in half and you need all of this light 
to light the wall and the area up against the wall, which is where a lot of shadows are. This area of the light also has this area of the light. So you have quite a bit of light coming in this way. Yeah, same with this side. So that's why you wanna hold these more towards the edge rather than having them perfectly spaced off of the walls. Does that make sense? So that's why I think I'm leaning more towards like 16 inches and then 16 inches. So that leaves us a pretty good sized gap here. That's still gonna look good on the ceiling with as big as this ceiling is. And I think that's my measurement. So now I know I can go everywhere that I have these marks and I'll make all my X's, I'll make this measurement everywhere and my lights and speakers will be perfectly laid out that way.